This morning, we are bringing you a special segment from the CBS News series, Down to Earth. It is our partnership with Facebook Watch that showcases unique storytelling. The United Nations is urging people to eat less meat. It says animal agriculture is a leading cause of greenhouse gases, and eating less meat could free up millions of acres of land where you can plant trees to clean the air. Seth Tone traveled to high-tech laboratories in Tel Aviv to see how slaughter-free meat is made. It's real steak and real chicken, but no animals were hurt. So-called clean meat is created out of cells from farm animal tissues. And more than likely, it's coming to a table near you. This truly qualifies as experimenting in the kitchen. Not the recipe, but the steak itself. We had to sign a waiver just to try it. You've worked hard for that bite. Aleph Farm CEO Didier Tobia explained how they're growing steak from the stem cells of cows at this laboratory near Tel Aviv. We can uh, produce uh, um, meat more efficiently in a way which is more ethical, more sustainable and healthier. Environmentalists say we should be eating less meat. According to the United Nations, farming animals is one of the most dangerous sources of greenhouse gases and water pollution. Right now, most of the agriculture is there to feed the animals. Erel Margalit is a billionaire investor in so-called food technology, including what he calls clean meat made in the lab. We need to change the way agriculture and food are being produced. Humans cannot continue to eat the way we are today. No, because the planet will not sustain it. The beauty with cell-based meat is that once you've established a cell bank, you don't need the chicken anymore. So, theoretically, one chicken can feed the world. At Supermeat, CEO Ido Severe explained how they extract stem cells from chickens. Those stem cells can become any type of cell. So by tweaking the mix of proteins and amino acids, they can direct them to become whatever they need, muscle, fat, or connective tissue. Inside, it looks very similar to a uh, sort of uh, artificial womb. And Severe adds they'll be able to produce exactly the cuts of meat desired. A vegan himself, Severe thinks there's also potential for consumers who object to killing an animal. These are very delicate portions. Yeah, well, just to get this portion is a lot of work. One of the many hurdles is the sci-fi aspect of all of this, and Severe hopes minds will be changed at the table, with the first lab-produced meat likely served in restaurants within a few years. And as to our taste of the future, Tastes like chicken. It was surprisingly normal. No one can seem to agree on a yeah, term. Yeah. I hear clean meat, I hear cultured meat or cell-based meat. I think that once it's, it's massly produced and distributed, it will just be cold meat, because that's what it is. For CBS This Morning, Seth Doan, Tel Aviv. Was it just me, or did Seth take a long time to answer? <laughs> oh, yeah, they might have been. Tastes like chicken. That's okay. a freaky meat, and it is not for me. <laughs> Very small I portion. I want to try it. This could be the future. Okay. Just sure plants sustainable. Just eat plants, people. We can just eat plants. We don't need to eat meat. You know, you can survive on an all-plant diet. It's possible. There's enough protein. I've heard, I've heard that rumor. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that rumor. <laughs> All right, well, to see more of Seth's Down to Earth report, go to our website, cbsthismorning.com.